Well, hello, Internet. This is going to be a quick video, as, as quick as I can make it. I don't know. I've been working on these bricks forever. And the thought back process back and forth with this diorama forever. I got so much footage of me building this dumb thing that I'm not even going to put it together. It's going to take me hours to splice and put it all back together to make it a quick 15, 20 minute video to how to. So I figure where I'm at now on this stage, I'm just going to make a video. None of these are none of these are glued down. Nothing's glued down. Nothing. Everything. Nothing's glued down. Everything's apart still. So my idea with this was to have a cemetery with the predator killing Batman. Um. I don't know that. I love my, I love my camera. I'm not to get a new camera. It's just this autofocus isn't working too well. But I apologize for the in and out focus. This is not like I said. This is all. This is all. This is nothing. Nothing's glued down. This, the tombstone. It's it's a work in progress. It's it's. I got a little bit of shading down with the 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 weathering of it. Uh, it's it's not the final. I don't think nothing here is the final product except down here. I'm not messing with these bricks anymore. I used regular house spackling for walls, for drywall, for this is real spackle. I tried other things. Um, let me take it apart. I tried other things, man. I glued it together this morning with some uh, Gorilla Glue. And uh, I think that, that this turned out this turned out the way I wanted it. This kind of turned out the way I wanted it. This is not bad. Let me, let me get it down better, better close. Let me get it close to you. This one turned out okay. I like this one. Just It's just a weathered looking brick wall. And I wanted to have the wall look like the... Uh, it was breaking up. The actual... The covering of the wall was breaking. And you can see through to the rock. Was The plaster. The plaster was breaking off. If that's what you want to call it. So I used joint compound. And then I just put some dowel rods in here in the corners and use some Gorilla Glue and that that was it man that's it uh, I got it labeled when you do something like this make sure you label top and in, in north or south however you want to do it because I just almost put it on backwards not that it matters but the only reason why it's it matters now because of the weather the weathering of the pastel I used like see right here so it, so it matches up so it all matches up but um I don't know man this is I almost trashed this thing twice man or used the walls for something else I, I've been work I've been thinking about this and working on it every now and then for several weeks now what I did was is I went with a dark wash black all the way through everything I covered every and I'm talking about the base up here not the brick the base these are glued in separate I with a hot knife I went in there and made the hole to fit this and I this is a separate piece of foam from another piece of foam and I cut it in there to make it fit just to make it have something different like rock sticking out so these are just put in there glued in there um, I know I say um a lot I'm thinking I've been noticing that in my videos like I said this here's not a finished product you can see here where these stuff needs to be fixed like in this corner here in this corner probably needs to be damaged a little bit that's not I, I I did these separate I did the wall and the platform separate so I wasn't exactly sure how it was gonna line up so I did I did weather those some more you can see the weathering of the the rain or the dirt stains whatever you want to call it I use this cheap ass apple barrel shit just for I based everything a, a black base on everything the rocks the tombstone everything um, <clears throat> I've got to stop saying um. Let me take this shit off. Let me take these things off. I'll show you what I did to the top. And after I get done this part here, I'll sh we're going to go into some figure stuff. See the ideas I have with the figures. Let me move this out of the way. So I was going to put something here. decided not to. So after everything was black, I went in. I had a little bit of that black cheap apple barrel stuff I just showed you and I used some raw umber 
for the base. I I just I just two or three coats of raw umber on un, uh, umber underneath here as you can probably see over here. After I did that, I did a light coat with a sponge with straight just straight out of the bottle. I didn't add no black to it. Straight out of the bottle. Then after that, after a couple of coats of that, just, just putting around different places with a sponge. Then I went real lightly, as you can see in here and up here, down here, you know, different spots. I went with a classic caramel. I like this classic caramel look when it comes to stone or sand or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I said um again. I got, I'm a dumbass, man. I'm tired of fucking saying um. So, I'm not good at talking to audiences if, if I, I would never be that guy. I can never be a uh, QVC goddamn salesman. So, what I did was I was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, man. I made a special, not a special, I, I, I put some of this and some black and some red together. And I lightly airbrushed through all the bricks here before I put this together. It looked horrible. I did all of them like that. Um, yeah, um, I said um again. God damn it. Uh, I'm not starting this over, man. You guys gotta just, just gotta go with me with it, man. You gotta go with it with me, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I did that. I just, I wanted something different. Something different than having just rocks laying on the ground. Over here to hide this hole. I'll get back to the paint in a minute. i put this one here. Cut out a little spot here with my hot wire. I got a hot wire gun, whatever you want to call it, whatever it's called. Put this over here. Hide that hide that hole that I messed up that I thought I was going to have one sticking out of the ground, but I didn't want to. I decided to go another way. Turn it this way so you can't see the hole. It's kind of cool anyway. I like this better anyway. I like this better than this. I don't know if I... I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm sold on this one, man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm sold on that one. Definitely not ready with the uh, tombstone. There's a lot to go with the tombstone here yet to go. So, it looks crooked as hell on the camera, but it looks better up here. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Um, it's not too bad. Just do some sandpaper after you cut your, after you take the wire, hot wire through here. Take some sandpaper, smooth it off. Got some rocks over here. So the plan, here's the plan. Now here's what happened. Like I said, I was airbrushing some brown and some red and some black together on the, on the rocks here to make them look real. But I knew this was going to go on top of this. So, it looked horrible, man. It looked horrible. So I went back again, got aggravated. I went all the way through and went back with some black. I mixed a little black with elephant gray. Elephant gray is a great stone look base, a stone, old stone look. But this here is a little, you can see it's a little lighter than that, than act the actual base here. I mixed them together as I was going. And I, after I put these on, this on together, I did it while it was wet. And I did not, I only cleaned my brush to make the brush wet, more wet again. So it came out with this really cool brown, this really cool gray that I like, this real natural looking gray, I think. It's really raggedy looking gray i like that weathered looking gray and you can still see all the black in there but i kind of brushed it towards the dirt somewhat looking dirt i have a stick i was thinking about getting a tree branch back here from off the tree a little couple from the branch a little small making a tree and paint it black i don't know this here i don't know i don't know i i i now that i got it where it's at now i like it I think I need to add the figures to make it make it right. I need to do. I need some more stuff. What I'm gonna do? I got some of this right here. These little rocks and shit, man. See all these little rocks? I want to put those not all over the top, but maybe around some of these rocks. I'm, I may do away with this rock. I don't know if I like this one or not. I'm not sure if I like this one. I, I'm not. This side looks good. This side looks stupid. I, I'm not sure if it just looks a natural, natural. This guy looks, I can make another one. I don't know. This came from another project that did. This was actually with going, I was going to go. This was actually a part of um, the Green Lantern, Jack Frost, that I just did. So it never made it. It was actually a, it was a big entranceway I had on top of that piece of iceberg I tried to make. Um, yeah, I said um again. How many times am I going to say um? So outside of that, man, I'm here now. This is not... This is not done. 
It's not done. I still got some things to do to it, man. I got some things to do to it. I'm not sure yet. I'm not. I, this is this has got to. This has still got to go a little bit longer ways, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. I started with the pastel, the running of the water, but what I have to do here, I have to find a bat symbol. I have a bat symbol. I tried to put on there. It wasn't big enough. It looks stupid. I made the gravestone too big, but I wanted a big gravestone. I wanted a big gravestone. And you probably say to yourself, why don't you tell me about the hole right in the middle of the damn thing? Well, I'm gonna. here's what we're going to get to. I'm going to have a base down there. I'm going to have a wire coming up. A, a, a clothes hanger. And I'm going to connect it to a figure. And I'm going to have the predator putting his fist through the other figure's chest. This whole, this whole idea came from the Predator killing somebody. And my first killing was Batman. But I said to myself, I don't know. I don't know if I want to kill Batman. I don't know because you know why? Because all I've been doing is Batman. So I have this Batman. I got, I needed, I needed this Batman to make the Godfather. I already built, I already did it. I already did a custom Batman with this Batman. Maybe I'll put it in the corner there, and I'll put it. I'll put it in the link in the description at the end of the video. The diorama, Batman versus Superman. Oh no, it wasn't. I keep saying it. Wrong, wrong diorama. The Batman. I used this Batman on another project using Spawn's cape, an old school Spawn's cape. I'll put that in the description instead. I keep messing up. Anyway, so I got another one of these, only because I was going to get the Dark Father builder figure, which I got and read and I repainted that. So I thought to myself. My original, my original idea for this video or this diorama was for this predator because he's damaged already. I still, I haven't still been taking it's. I bought this thing months ago. I haven't decided how I'm going to go with it. I think I'm going to add a little bit of glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint on this, on this project. I'm going to have him either use his hand that's already off, put it inside of Batman's chest. Or use this hand, put it through his chest, get fishing hooks to go out the back of Batman's back, and have hot glue drip out of that arm with his arm on the ground, because they were in battle, of course. But I don't like a lot of things here on the Predator. And a glare, sorry about the glare. No, I'm not, I can't help the glare. I'm going to use this head sculpt. I'm not using that, I don't think. At first, I don't know. I don't like these. I don't know how I'm going to use these. I put it in his hand. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to hold one. Maybe I will, depending on what arm I use to put through Batman's chest. So I'm not sure which one. I'll paint these silver. I don't like them copper. I don't know about the accessories. I'm not worried about the accessories right now. I'm not worried about the accessories. I, I don't care about the accessories. I, I'm using this figure to put his fist through Batman's lower chest stomach area. And the Batman I'm going to use that I bought for this in the first time, first place was this Batman. He's an awful big Batman. I, I, I thought, okay, it's over with. Batman, I'd have to dark wash this, but instead of getting that, I'm not using this Batman. I'm not using that Batman. I just, I, he's too heavy. I don't think it would look proper, proper up against the height. I mean, I know they're still seven inches, but... I don't know. I don't want to use that Batman. I, I changed my mind again. This project took so long. Back and forth with this project over and over again. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Then I said, let me fix my mic here. Okay. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to use. These things don't even stand up. These McFarland toys are good, but they don't stand up. So I decided myself, scratch that project. Scratch, scratch Batman. Forget about Batman. Predator's still in the mix. Still gonna have Predator's gonna stand here with one fist up into whoever's stomach gonna kill him. I said, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of that, forget about the gravestone, make the base the way it is, have spawn, this spawn, I got this for $15.99, Amazon. Have spawn, have chains come out, build my chains, have him fighting the Predator like it's a comic book scene and I thought to myself I don't want to use Spawn's head I was gonna keep this where it is gray but make his body white with a black emblem but use this head sculpt that head sculpt on this spawn 
would make sense if this spawn was white with a black emblem where it's blue. Everywhere it's blue, it would be black with badass real chains like I did on my Superman versus Batman diorama with the chains with the wire through the chains. So I said, you know what? I don't want to do that. I said, so now I'm back. Now I'm back with the Predator. Who am I going to kill? I, I don't know why I just didn't want to do that now. I, I wanted to kill Batman. I don't know what that, I don't know why. I'm buying this shit. By, this, by the way, $15.99, $15.99 with shipping, free shipping from Amazon. So I decided to go, here's the final thing. This Predator, back to the original idea. This Predator is going to kill Batman, but not this Batman. Maybe his head. So now this part of the video is probably going to change a little bit. I had the worst Batman McFarland ever made. This is probably going to be a separate video as well. I'm going to probably chop it here and make another one out of it, a real quick one. Now you'll probably say, well, why is he putting up the same video? Well, I, I don't know if I will or not. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I'm, it's almost like I'm making you wait in suspense to see what Batman is the worst Batman that McFarland ever, ever made. I'm not going to use the head sculpt. I got this for $11.99 with tax, of course, 12 bucks in some sense with free shipping. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. I was thinking about having Predator kill Wolverine, but I wasn't paying $25 to drill a hole in his chest and maybe it not work and I just destroyed a $25 figure. Now I'm already in a hole with all these other figures, right? So I went with this. That is the worst Batman ever, ever made. So I'm gonna stop the video right now. Take this Batman, not the sculpt. Cape sucks. I don't know if I can fix that or not. I'm gonna have, have to do a custom cape. Let's stop the video and when we come back, I'm gonna have them out of the box. And I'm gonna show you why this is the worst Batman ever. Okay, we're back, and the camera's actually decided to focus. Anyway, this, I want this figure for the suit, because I want him, I want the Predator to kill Batman. I'm gonna have his chest, I'm gonna drill, I'm gonna dremel a hole right about maybe here, or maybe here, like right above the torso. I think I'm gonna go above the torso right here, in here, have him out, these, these, this is such a piece of shit. Um, I don't even like this Batman. I've never even seen the movie. I don't care about it. This is not Batman. This is already coming apart. This thing's a piece of junk. I, I, I just got it out of the box. Let's see. You know, I don't look at this. I don't even know what's going on here. I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah, this is this is stupid. This thing's a piece of shit. Um, I may. Well, that's good. That's good. I thought I had. This is great. This is great. Here's what we're gonna do. This is better than I thought, believe it or not. Let's take this damn head off. Hold on. There we go. Take that head off. Take that head off. Now we got heads up here. Actually, the paint job on this, I probably have to fix. Look at this. I got paint on my hands because I've been painting that, that piece of shit all day. Um, see that? See around the cow here? He's got flesh tone. I gotta fix that if I'm gonna use this sculpt. Head sculpt. Yeah, that, that good quality there, you cocksuckers. Good quality, I, I, I love it. But the reason why this is the worst Batman I ever saw is because of this. Let me get, a, let me get my camera to focus here. Hold on, guys. I see dead people. This is probably the most stupidest looking head sculpt I ever saw in my life. The dumbest head sculpt. I don't know if this is gonna work. I, I could use that Batman's head over here on this. I don't care. I have to probably use another pig. Let's take this pig out, man. I don't know if this pig's gonna work. Um, I don't know if this pig, I can get this pig out or not. All right, we're back again. I, I didn't wanna tear up the pig in case I needed it. Just in case I, well, I love my non-focus camera. I love them. I wish I had six of them. See, I almost tore it up getting it out. So I heated it up, it popped right out. So here we go. I'm probably gonna go with this. I know it doesn't look right. I, it's just, just for sake of argument, it's just sitting there. 
I, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this off this I'm glad this thing's falling apart it makes it easier my job easier so what I'm gonna do not here because I don't want to tear this thing up too bad I'm gonna heat this shit up I'm gonna cut it off I'm gonna cut this stupid one way or the other it's coming off okay this stupid thing see right here I can get it off I can get it off I'm taking that off I may still use the cape I may still use the cape I don't know I'll glue it down and I'll pop I'll position his head it's gonna be looking down anyway or he's gonna be looking down anyway he's getting the plan is to have him up here let me let me let me see here now the plan is to have have him like I mean I'm, I'm not he's not gonna be posed really well like this with the wire coming down arms out maybe I wish he came with separate arms like this I don't know I, I don't know what what do you think I don't know is that head sculpt good on here like I said I'm gonna get rid of the uh, stupid mask that was I'm getting rid of this back here I'm gonna get rid of that that's dumb or, or yeah I think I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of this it's gonna be like you know what I mean it's gonna look like real Batman so before I do this I'm gonna have him up here I'm gonna have a, a wire coming down holding him up in a pose as he's getting ripped up and the predator is gonna have one arm in through his chest and that's Batman's grave and I need to find a bat emblem for this gravestone headstone I don't know exactly what Batman emblem I'm going to use. I'm going to go find one on a keychain or something, but I'm going to use a. I'm going to put a Batman emblem. I, I'm not going to write Bruce Wayne on the on the on a tombstone. It's not going to happen. There's no way I can run with a heat gun or I mean a a, a, a wire gun or wire heat wire. I'm not writing. I, it won't look right. It looks stupid. So more stupid than it already does. So I'm going to get a bat emblem, either old school bat emblem or a newer school bat emblem. I don't even know. Something just some something that looks like maybe this. I'm gonna put it right there about that big so it looks like you know why that you know where he's going he's already got the grave built and I know it doesn't make sense it's just it doesn't make sense well who dug the grave it doesn't matter it's gonna be it's just gonna be a diorama of the predator is gonna end Batman and the graves already there and the last thing I'm gonna do well before we get to that well, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put LED lights down in there. So red. Red's going to be shining up so when it's dark, when Batman's hanging here in a pose that he's getting ripped up, you know, he's going to have him like this and have him jacked and jacked up, have the Predator's arm up through here, get some fishing hooks maybe throughout the back. He already got those. So it looks like Predator's claws went up through his chest and put Predator in a stance of like, you know war or some shit you know what i'm trying to say you get what i'm saying and when i turn the led lights on the red's going to shoot up it's going to shoot up like it's hell and shit you know but anyway that's where i'm at with this but what i'm going to do is back to the batman for a second just for a second here anyway back to the batman what i'm going to do i'm going to take this batman after i take him apart Maybe go a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to change the color of his is of his belt or not. Maybe I'll just highlight highlight some stuff, or just go with a golden yellow. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to put some damages damage marks on his chest. Maybe cut off an arm and leave like bone sticking out. I'm not sure if I should do that or not, or a leg. I don't know. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe just an arm. Maybe not. I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna repaint this thing. I don't like this color. Can you see it going camera? Yeah, there you go. I do not like this olive dark. It's not not olive. Yeah, it's, there's other things I can highlight here. There's some straps here that aren't highlighted. I'm gonna damage this thing up. I don't know if I'm gonna even use these stupid things. I might just leave them off. I might just leave. No. Well, then I gotta cover these holes. No. I'm gonna put the plates back on. Color them something. You know, I'm gonna weather it up. I'm gonna weather him up. Paint him black. Maybe put a couple holes in his cape, torn holes or something. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's the idea. So that's my plan. That's the plan. That's the diorama so far. This is where I'm at. I was going to do a making of this diorama. This is a nice Batman body sculpt. 
but the head was stupid. This bat, this is the, probably the worst looking head sculpt I ever saw. I don't care if it looks like the guy or not. Well, for 11 bucks, you can't beat it. 12 bucks with shipping. I don't know. We'll see. But I appreciate you watching. This is as far as I got. Any ideas? Anybody happens to jump in on here or give me an idea, let me know. Maybe I'll use fish rocks or some other shit. I, got, I, got, I still got a little ways to go on this one, but I'm more than halfway there. All right, guys. I appreciate you sticking around. Until the next one, I'll see you later.